again, uh, San Luis Angel Chamber and the League of Women Voters for hosting this event for the public. This is a great forum. San Luis Angel is a magnificent, magnificent city, and there's much we can do to maintain it and actually make it better. Public safety is definitely uh, one of the things that we have to focus on. Our police and fire does an excellent job, and often we don't hear the stories. They take more issues than anybody else, but they do a better job at solving the crimes as well as uh, stopping the, the fires and saving lives. Econo economic development is definitely a key component to bringing in jobs and revenues to the city. What I specialize in is I know about small business financing to medium-sized businesses as well as commercial financing. That's how we can bring in the good quality jobs as well as encourage entrepreneurship and more business development and work with our existing businesses. I love San Leandro. That's one of the reasons why I moved here. You know, I'm endorsed by former Mayor Tony Santos, former Mayor Emeritus Sheila Young, former Mayor John Faria, the Police Officers Association, many homeowners of uh, presidents, and the Asian uh, Pacific Amer American Democratic Caucus. I would like your endorsement just as well. Would be, I would settle for a second if that's your choice. As a public servant, I know government works best when public officials listen to our community. I will do that. I am confident I can do the work to preserve essential services and help build a vibrant, fresh San Leandro. I'm proud and I worked hard for my endorsements. I'm endorsed by PACE, the National Women's Political Caucus, EIU 1021, the Sierra Club, Buwapawa, and the Alameda Labor Council. Thank you so much for coming out tonight, and I value your time. I have just one more thing to say. Please remember to vote on November 6th, and I'd be honored to have your first or second choice vote. Thank you. Thank you guys all for coming tonight. As you guys have probably seen tonight, I'm definitely a political outsider. Uh, the questions, you know, my answers are a little rough. I give it my best. I want to emphasize my willingness to learn. I want to emphasize the fact that I'm here for the people. I'm representing you guys with no endorsements, because I believe endorsements, campaign donations, things of that nature, those lead to promises. And as we've seen these promises in Sacramento, in Washington, D.C., in the city of San Leandro, they're going to lead to people uh, influencing other people's agendas. I'm running to you as a uh, Manor resident for the last 30 years, uh, one of the only ones in my race that has actually uh, lived in the community for that long. Some of us just recently moved here. Okay? How are you going to represent a district if you just recently moved here last year? I'm, I don't know. So I want somebody in my community to represent me to represent my district. Somebody who cares about the issues that Washington Manor deals with. Somebody who knows what the neighborhood entails. I have Clancy's, Clancy's Ice Cream gave me a campaign donation. That was amazing to me. But you know what it, it taught me? It taught me that my biggest fear was that letting down these community businesses, letting down the people in the community that support me, that's what I, what, that's what I worry about. Because I'm not, I'm not going to know every answer to every problem that we deal with. I'm just not. Um, there's a lot of other candidates today that are really good at that, and I would urge you to vote for them. But if you want somebody who's going to represent you from the heart, if you want somebody who's going to represent your families, represent the seniors, represent the city of San Leandro, somebody who loves the city of San Leandro, then I would say give me your vote. Thank you, and thank you all for coming out tonight. You know, I believe the only way to be a successful city council member is to build bridges and to build relationships. And that's why I'm honored to have such a great cross-section of endorsers. I have the labor union. I have business leaders like F Steve Song at FH Daily, Jot Man God who owns Plowman's, Vine, and the Englander. I have current elected officials who want to work with me, Pauline Cutter and Mayor Stephen Cassidy. The school board who knows the work I have put into our schools. You know, I believe that decisions made on the city council greatly affect our lives. That's why I've taken the time these last many years to study the decision-making process, to read the minutes, to understand where issues went wrong, why they went wrong. As a young person, I get to accept that we may have made some mistakes along the way, and what can we do to fix it? At the end of the day, it's about moving San Leandro forward, and it's about working together. And I think now is the time to roll up our sleeves, find a way to work together, find our common causes, 
and bring real solutions to the table that everyone can benefit from. And I bring that. So tonight, I ask for your support. I ask for your vote. If I can't get your first vote, I will settle for your second vote. Um, but I think it's ready, and I think San Leandro is ripe to start realizing its full potential. It needs fresh energy. It needs real solutions. And it needs, it needs a perspective that understands where we've been and where we want to go. And I think I can do that for you. Thank you.